Hi, this is a nice example on sequences and using sigma notation. And what we've got here is a sequence of terms, a1 being the first term, a2 the second term, a3 the third term, and so on, is defined by the first term, a1 being 2, and then any subsequent terms, a n plus 1, is equal to 3 times the previous term, a n, minus this constant c. Now, in the first part, a, we've got to find an expression for the second term, a2, in terms of the constant c. So, how do we do something like this? Well, it's very straightforward. Let's just put part a here. Now, in part a, then, if we're to get the second term, a2, then all I've got to do is set n here equal to 1. So when n equals 1, we get the second term, a1 add 1, a2 in other words, equals 3 a n, but n is 1, so it's 3 times a1 minus c. But we know what a1 is. We're told that the first term in the sequence is 2. So we've got 3 times 2 then minus that constant c. So in other words, 6 minus c. Now, for part b, we're told that the summation of the first three terms, a1 plus a2 plus a3, comes to 0. So let's just put this down that we're given that sigma, the sum of, in other words, i going from 1 to 3 of a i equals 0. So that's really saying that therefore a1 plus a2 plus a3, the sum of the first three terms equals 0. Now we know what the first term is, a1. We know it is 2. So we've got 2 plus a2. We just worked that out in terms of c. It is 6 minus c. And then we've got 2 plus to this, the third term of the sequence. And we can use this rule up here. When n equals 2, we get a3 equals 3 times a2 minus c. So we've got a3 is 3 times a2, 3a2 minus c. And that's going to total 0. Well, we know what a2 was. We just worked it out up here. So we can start to put that in. We've got, therefore, 2 plus 6 minus c plus 3 times a2, 3 times 6 minus c. And then we've got minus that c there equals 0. And if we expand out the brackets, we could take this opportunity that 2 plus 6 is 8. So we'll put 8 there then, minus c. And then we've got plus 3 sixes, which are 18, minus 3c, minus that other c there, equals 0. So we therefore have, if we do 8 and 18, that's 26. So we've got, therefore, 26. And we've also got minus c, minus 3c, minus c. So that's a total of minus 5c. So if I add that to both sides, I've got 26 equals 5c. And if I divide both sides by 5, I then end up with, therefore, c equals 26 divided by 5, which is 5.2. OK, so I hope this gives you a little idea then on that question if you had any problems.